Hold My Drink with Charlene and Ellie, a Go Light original podcast, proudly sponsored by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. An ice cold can of Coca-Cola Zero Sugar is so irresistibly tasty, it's worth protecting. And then I feel I'll be downstairs bad. watching golf or some hug. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it always Charlene that caves? Yeah, because yeah, you you're very, very stubborn. stubborn. Oh, yeah, I am stubborn, but now I'm in well, the right. Because I start oh. the fight. Because she <laughs> starts the fight, so I'm like, well, sometimes I just say, ah, yeah. But how do you find all the TikToks and all the cheat? Oh, I love the videos. So... I mean, most of them I'd say, I want, I say no to, but she still does them, so. When we broke up, like, do you, did you think we were going to work together? Ever? Don't lie. Welcome to Home I Drink with Charlene and Ellie. Our podcast is like a group chat between your best friends. The girls watch one night out where you spill all the gossip on relationship dilemmas and life. We are so excited to share that today's episode is proudly sponsored by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, which has a magical and irresistible taste that does need to be protected at all times. Mm-hmm. Nothing beats an ice cold can of Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. It's when you know it's there and you're yeah. craving it. And the first yeah. bubbles to hit your hair in that crack of the can. Yeah. No. I find it hard to open with my nail. Oh, professional at this point. Yeah, thing. I've had to, because this is my first time having quite long nails. Oh. So I've had to master the art of doing it with yeah. long nails. It's a skill. Yeah, I have. I think I've got it. It really is mm-hmm. a skill set. I always have to hide my Coca-Cola Zero Sugar in my house. Otherwise, it is stroked on me. Gone. Yeah, same. It is. You yeah. can't keep them. You can't. On show, like, Especially in my house? when they're in the fridge. Are you mad? People want them ice cold. <laughs> And they're like, oh, I'm having my dinner. What can I yeah, get in the fridge? Oh, Charlene's yeah. things. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. It is so good. That it is worth protecting. How far will you go to protect yours? So on this week's episode, we had... Dano. Dano. Dano was so highly requested and he did not disappoint. Do you know what? Great. He did great. He did great. Great for He's being... nervous for, for nothing. Yeah, for yeah. saying that he was nervous and yeah. like, oh, sure, I don't yeah, know. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I told him, I was like, it's going to open up like people knowing you and like little like yeah. football fans listen. I don't, they won't do us Dano. anyway, but that you might listen because they know he's yeah. on it and different sides, Dano, yeah. Exactly. Imagine he started a podcast now and blew us out of the water. I know, yeah. But we also done our seeks to the stalls, our wait I tell you, word association and super skip. And we hope you enjoyed this episode. Enjoy with Dana. Enjoy. Enjoy. I feel like summer is going so quick. No, it is. It's flying in. Think about it. It's basically July. It is July. It's so sad. Then you have August. No, I'm lying to you. August isn't summer. No, but it is like. But it is, but it's not. Isn't yeah, that bad? Not. I feel like in our heads, we know that it is because in school, you always had August off, but you were in the end of August. Did you ever you have been school in the end of August? August? That only started happening when I was a bit older and I was like, what kind of sorcery is yeah, this? Yeah, what's going on? It's still summer. Yeah. yeah. But I think different calendars have August as, as summer still. Do different they? countries, yeah. Depends what country you're in. So but when it hits August, it's autumn, isn't it? Disgusting. Isn't that sick? What? Sick. Summer's too short. Yeah, it should I be need summer all the time. Good May to and May to September. Fill it, yeah. fill it the whole way in. Like, do you remember that song from Phineas and Ferb? It's summer all the time. No, I never Did watched watch that. that. No, I think I was too old. Was it? Was that a Disney, Disney Channel thing? Disney, yeah. Oh, I didn't have a Disney Channel. Oh. I was a Den two kind of a child, and then we never had Sky. Oh my God, Den, I always wanted to be on the Den. We didn't have Sky around growing up. Did you not? No, I only had it when I was a bit older. I think I had NTL for a while. I think is what that what it's called. It was like Aircom or something. Oh, like, like the yeah. same channels though. Like I don't know. It wasn't great. We I used to be fuming. We used to get so excited to go to people's houses if they had Sky. And they could watch. It. Yeah, if we had Sky, we were so excited. We were like, eek, TV lied. <laughs> wow. Disney was so good though. Did you have to pay extra for that? I think so. No, we never remember like watched it watching Sweet Life with Zach and Cody. Did you watch that at all? No, ever. Mm-hmm. Even now, would you not go back and watch it? Oh, I know what it. No, I wouldn't com- go no. back and watch that now. They're my comfort shows. I couldn't I'd... sit through an episode of that. What? You couldn't pay me to sit through an episode of that. Oh, I love it. It's I terrible. Like, I like knowing what's happening next and things, so I just like watching the same But the episode. acting and all and the fake laughing of the audience I'm and like, all, what? Charlene <laughs> 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 is losing her shit watching this. No, I couldn't. <laughs> That's like my awful humor. Like, oh, no. So bad. No. And I loved, um, what else? That's so raven. And oh, Hannah, yeah. Mo- Hannah Montana. Me and Dana watched the whole Hannah Montana for lockdown. What was the pink and yellow, or the pink and 
Green. One in Cosmo? Yeah. One what was that called? Fairly Odd Parents. I like that. Yeah, that was good. That was a good one. I can still sing all the team tunes of them, so. Yeah? Yeah. Giant cake, birthday snake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big snake, birthday <laughs> snake. <laughs> I don't remember. I think it was a giant cake birthday snake instead oh. of a giant snake. Um, yeah, they were my faves. I'd say. Not mad in a telly now. I'm not a telly bird. No. Well, like Netflix, yeah. Yeah. But I put it on just to go to sleep. Like, would you? Do you know that I read something or seen TikTok the other day that if you need something to to sound to go to sleep, it's because you have abandonment issues. <laughs> Me. <laughs> ding ding ding! Every night, I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't sleep inside. Could you not ever? <gasps> I only put on rain, like, if I'm not really tired. My new one now is rain and music. Oh. It's lovely. I hate when the music turns on. Put it on for an hour. Put it on and set the timer to an hour. Put it kind of slightly under my pillow a little bit. Go on. Like, like that, and then put my arms above my head. And so I'm if you were silent, would you just not sleep? Like What? If you had no sound on the background, could you not sleep? You probably could still. I could still, yeah, I'm a sleeping bag. Like, but Probably you have it now. I'd be listening to the sound of my own heartbeat and my stomach rumbling and I'll go away. No. Yeah, I have to go through this. Oh, no, I'd be sent into a meltdown. Yeah. No, I don't really like it. Home. This week's way to tell you is going to be actually a debate to Ellie that she should come to Ibiza <laughs> because she ha- she won't actually book it. I just haven't booked my flights. Why Why will you not come? Because I don't know what I'm going to do for my birthday. Fuck the birthday. No, the birthday is the big birthday. Well, it's not a big birthday, not- but... My birthday will be when I'm away and I don't know if I want to be away for it or not Why? or what I want to be. I don't know. I get You're really sad at my birthday. when I'm always away for my You're birthday but I get really sad being away then. Why? Because I just feel like I'm not with my mommy and my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> they miss me even though they don't give a shit. My dad doesn't even know what my birthday is. Yeah, but you'd rather celebrate it in Ocean Beach. I know. I think it's yeah, like a birthday is just a day. You can just celebrate a different day instead. Yeah. I'm going to be flying home hungover probably on my birthday. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Ibiza always ends up being a last minute thing for me anyway. Does it? Yeah, I think so. Was last year a last minute thing? No. One year it was for me and I had fuck all clothes, like nothing. Wait, was that last year and you forgot to order stuff or something? Probably, yeah. And then yeah. I came home and there was a big delivery for me as when I came home. I, I was like, what is I this think that shit? Was. Yeah. I think so. they're ordering stuff because I feel like I just forget. And then it comes to, it's like next week or something. Yeah, yeah. That that happens. The summer flew in. I don't know what happened. I'm going to do a petition on the Homage and Instagram page. Should Ellie to come to Ibiza? Yeah. Why don't you just fly over after your birthday? Well, she's the day I'll be there for like three days or something like Four. Still. Fuck it. At least you get to go. Yeah. You've been at home too much this summer. I have. Am I like it? Yeah. <laughs> it's really bad. You need to attend. Even for two, like, Ibiza will be good for two days. It's not a long flight, two and a half hours. I feel like I've just rinsed the life out of Ibiza now at this stage. Do you think... Yeah, like yeah, last year I said last year did, was my last year. I did and say that last were, year. You were here already. That you were yeah, there. I was already there. Ruined my life. Yeah. You didn't. Well, one day I did. Yeah. It's just the hangover that kills me. It's just the sleep deprivation. It's just... And I am I always look like the bad buzz then. When How did I'm, you get hungover in Ibiza? I never have gotten over there, I don't think. Oh, I was bad this really? time. Really? Yeah. I always look like the bad buzz because if I, if I was like, oh, I'm going to go home, like, it's like Ibiza, you're going home, what? And then you just, you don't. But I just, there's a switch in me and I don't know where it comes from that yeah. tells me like. You need to leave. Clock it, yeah. That's and it. did you leave? No, probably not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, then I just stay out and make more bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, mean? I get that switch as well, like proper, like, no. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. I don't think that's, a, it's much of a bad thing though, is it? No, it's good. Mm. If I like get one wave of hunger. I can't concentrate. Oh, I'd be in a bad mood. I'd be hangry. I can. Yeah. Like, see, if you, do you ever go out and not eat and you're like, you think you're, you're like, I'll get drunker quicker or something. Like, yeah. you've got time to eat that day or something. Yeah, yeah. And then you get that hunger pang in your stomach and there's nowhere open for food and you have to have crisps from behind a bar. Like, it's disgusting. It's terrible. And they don't fill a hole. Yeah. They don't fill anything. No, it's terrible. I got yeah. Domino's in, it was actually a great idea. I was in the car on the way home from town a few weeks ago. Ordered on the way. Ordered on the way. Mm. It was the best decision. I, well, I was with my sister. That's and she was really thinking in, in her van. Yeah. Isn't it like? She was absolutely locked. And I was like, you missus need soakage. Yeah. So I was like, right, pizza. So the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Fixes you. Yeah. Something to eat and loads of water before you go to sleep. Yeah. Carbs and water. It's the fixture. And sleep. Mm. If you don't get sleep. Or not enough hours, you'll be fucked. That's what I think most hangover is. Sleep yeah. deprivation. Mm. Like you're just knackered. You just yeah. 
Your brain is not brain. No, yeah, it's foggy. Yeah. Foggy, foggy. Yeah. But petition to get me. Petition to get me. It's going to say is the way to hell for this week. So hopefully next week, because I wait, I tell you. Ellie, Ellie is fucking Yay. <laughs> okay, word association game. Christ of the week. I kind of hate this now. Same. <laughs> we need a new good segment, like. We need just something funny. Like. We never even asked. We'll ask the, the people. Yeah. The birds to help us. With it, Pick say. one, yeah. Okay. You start. Um. Um. Word association, toe. Nail. Okay. Three, two, one. Wait, what do we do? Now we say one that's close, that gets both of them. Okay. We both say the same word, can't we? Okay. Three, two, one, foot. Shoe. Oh. Three, two, one, laces. Ah, we're too good. Oh my God. Okay, I'll do one now. Um, we're, not, we're not bad at this. Word association, still. <laughs> Go again. Fried eggs. When you said stew, do you know what, you know what I think when I hear stool? Poo. Poo, poo, poo. Yeah, yeah ew, I hate that word. Sick, for poo. isn't it? Disgusting. I watched it in a, a podcast of Max Belegda and he walk, had to walk around with a stool sample. And he brought it to his friend George's house. Is there anything worse than when you pit, pee in the doctors and you have to like hold a sample of pee? I think I've done that once. Oh no. It's so humiliating and everyone just sees they it. Just know. I had to drop one in before. It was really weird. And oh. Your one behind the counter just like took it off me. I just had it in a bag. It just like took it off you're me. You're just holding like, my piss. Yeah, you're just there. holding my warm piss that came out of me a oh, few it's minutes so ago. Oh, it's so warm. What's the story about being sick? Do you remember when you're, do you swim, do you do swim lessons when you're, yeah. and you go to the toilet and the pee would be so warm and I was always so confused how it was so warm. Like peeing in the pool? No, oh. in the toilet when you like leave. <laughs> Did you pee in the <laughs> You just out with yourself. <laughs> When you come when you come out and go to the toilet and the pee was always warm. And I was always like hot, like I was so confused. Hot. How did it get all hot inside? You're like know. maybe because I'm cold out of the pool and like this. My primary school went we did swim our swim lessons in Tallet. I don't know why we did it, because at the time Probably that in, um, far away. I know the name of Bali. Uh, yeah. The swimming centre place. Yeah, yeah. Know. I don't know why we did that. I'd love to go swimming. Like, can we just go swimming into a random pool? Bro, you will not catch me with a swimming hat on my head. What? Oh my god, no. Why not? Be like a giant sperm. <laughs> no, ew. Fuck it though. Like, no, no. Eh, did you ever see people try, who try and make it nice and they like leave out to a little bit? It's not yeah, and sorry, there's no, no making that nice. You may as well just own the. Yeah. I would go dicky diving in now. My, does blonde go yellow and chlorine though? You could get one of them plastic ones that no water gets oh, in. Oh, yeah. How about jealous people? Why don't you try and get that in your head? Yeah. I'm trying to get it off your head, that'd be so. Yeah, it'd probably rip out half my hair. In the I think you have to put talc, talc about it. But I really it. love swimming. Like, I'd love to go swimming. Like, like, like make it a thing. Often. Yeah. Very you should look good, Very good exercise. Yeah, because you're using your whole body. But I went to Platters the other day. Oh, my Lord. Oh, yeah. Why'd you go back? It was the hardest well, one. Well, not why'd you go back here. No, I, I, I want to do one a week. Do you? Fuck me, it was hard. Is it a hard one? Oh, my abs afterwards. I was, I was like, where are the abs? Where, yeah, hello. <laughs> um... Did I do word association there? Or did I just talk about something? Anyway, moving swiftly on. We had Angel Boy. Aww. Slash Dan, I want the podcast. He, he's so cute. Yeah, he's been very highly requested and we spoke to him about a lot of different things. I feel like this would be the first time people actually hear him like speaking, yeah. speaking properly. Yeah, and, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I feel like when they hear him on your like on your Instagram or TikTok and stuff, like it's just like... Funny. Him being funny, yeah, 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 whereas he's talking pure he serious. Was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that'd be a good yeah. side of Jenna. Well, enjoy, guys. So, today on Home I Drink, we have a very long awaited and highly anticipated yeah. guest, I think. We have Dano! Dano! Angel, Angel Man! For anyone only listening now, though, this is my boyfriend. This could be their first episode, they're like, who the fuck is Dano? Who's Dano? Yeah. So, introduce yourself, Dano. I'm Dano. <laughs> Shailene's boyfriend. <laughs> it brings us back to where you started. So where you were born, how was your childhood? I was born in um, Coultry Road, Ballymun. I don't know, you can't be in your dress. Take that out. <laughs> I don't live there anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was born in Coultry Road, Ballymun. That's all, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how was your childhood growing oh, up? How was my childhood? Yeah. yeah. Childhood was good. Family gave me everything. 
Do you have a big family? I have two brothers, one sister. But the whole family is quite big, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Do you have a big extended family? Like? Yeah, big extended family, yeah. Kids popping out of nowhere now. That, now that, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's loads of them, yeah. <laughs> and I even know what happened, to be honest. Do you, <laughs> do you remember like starting to play football or like what got you first interested in it? Because that's obviously your job now. I don't really remember. I used to just always play it like in the house and stuff. And mm. then I uh, just started off at Ballymun United. Went there and then went to Kevin's Trials, St. Kevin's Trials. Mm. And then from there, just played for Kevin's all my childhood and then went out to England at 15. And were, yeah. you, all, were you always good though as a child as well? I always, yeah, I always had that something bit about me, you know what yeah. I mean? I was really small and like skinny. Not skinny. Were you small? I, had, I, I was small, but I'd have a bit of like a bit of a belly on me, you know what I mean? Not a belly, but like just Dana's, a bit chubby. Dana's bum is huge. Why, why is it about men though? I was pictures of me last, night, last night. I was I in the bed just like sprawled out he like, was like a starfish. starfish. He's like, and I go, stand, stay Dana, there and I the, just take a picture the of you. bunda on you. <laughs> I said it's a hairy bunda. What is it with the men <laughs> getting good bundas and then we're left behind? It's like a peach. Our child is going to have a lovely bum, hopefully from him. No, I was always just had a big arse. <laughs> but it helps with football. Yeah, Does he it? bops yeah. the bit out of the way, you know. With your bum. Yeah. Yeah, because so, I haven't really got any strength on me, have I? So I just yells me. Oh, you do. You're strong. You use my bum cheeks. So you left school when you were 15? <clears throat> yeah, 14, you, 15. You done your junior cert? Yeah. You did your junior cert? Just bounced. How did you, did you do on the junior cert? Bad. Actually, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. No, really? I don't know. I never opened the results. I did all right, but I didn't do amazing. Did you like really care, though? Did you? I didn't know. I knew I was going, so. You didn't care about it. I was literally done a test in like 15, 20 minutes and just bounced out of it. Bye. And you went to Brighton then. You were in you were in Brighton then. Brighton from fifteen to I was like nineteen, twenty when I came back. Yeah. And did they scout you? Was that how that worked? They I don't scouted know how me, yeah, yeah. So what, they came over and watched you play football and then were like, I had like yeah. two or three two maybe two teams that wanted to sign me. What was it? I, ch- I think it was Southampton. Yeah, and then I just chose Brighton. And what is it? Did they offer you money like? At fifteen? No, no, tell them to tell the story. What is it? They offer you money, yeah, but not you're only 15. I was on about 80 quid a week. Tell the story Stop about it. the phone. But then no, please. after that year, you go on like 250. It's called a scholarship. Okay. So you start on 250 quid. A week. A week. A week. And then it depends on how well you're doing. Like some of the some of the kids these days, 17, 18, around like 10, 20 grand a week. Like how? That's mad money to be given a 17 year old yeah. or an 18. That's dangerous That's, money. Yeah. It is. But, Can you tell oh the story God. about the phone? Oh. When you had not enough money for the phone? Oh, I don't know, I was about 15 or something. <laughs> 15, 16, and I was going in to get a phone. And bill I was at my mate, I was at my j- mate Jason. And uh, it was a bill pay phone, but you, <laughs> you needed like a, a quid or two quid in your account to go in like a show was in, like you've got a credit Can't card. An open account. Oh. Yeah, you can open an account with us. Right. And I hadn't got hadn't got your <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I had the uh, Jason to give me a uh, you know, it was like ten quid send it to my account or something like that. Oh, I was that's more than so walking out. It's only fifteen, sixteen. Oh. And you leave, so what's that like leaving like your childhood home at that age? I'd say leaving your friends was when hard. When I think it? yeah. Yeah, it was like it was real I found it I found it really hard at yeah. the beginning. So they kinda eased me into it. So I was going over, but I goes, oh, I can't, we can't stay here. Really? So they brought me back. I went on holidays with my family for like two weeks or something. <laughs> so I was going back over, coming uh-huh. back and all this and that. Because I was just, I couldn't hack it. It was just You didn't want to be over there? Didn't want to be over there. But as I went on, it was grand. I was living with a girl called Sue and George, the husband. Yeah. They brought me in and they were great it's with like me. like Jigs, isn't it? Like Jigs, yeah. They take you in. She worked for the club, didn't she? She worked for the club. What's a Jigs? Jigs is like... It's, it's like, like a family. When you're, you family you live family. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They, they take they, you in? Like, yeah, because you, you wouldn't in, yeah. be... You're not allowed to live I was going to say, You can't yeah. live by yourself at 15. No. Brought you over to the UK. You can only move out when you're 18, I think. And she used to always buy Dano ketchup for Christmas. for She was like a... She was like a... Mom, like... Yeah. But yeah, I used to love ketchup. She used to get me ketchup on my birthdays and all <laughs> and Nesquik, do you ever know you see that Nesquik? The powder, oh, yeah. yeah. I used to love chocolate milk and all. Oh. Yeah. And then you came home from Brighton then when you were 20, five, five years ago. and 20, yeah. What made 19, you actually 20, end up 20. leaving? I know, obviously. But I'm I wasn't homesick around, I just was just sick of it. My head I just was needed gone. the time out, just get back to my house, family and... Like you just, just want normal life again for a while? Not normal life, I was going home to play football again. Oh, well, I just yeah. needed to reset with my family and friends and just come home to like a 
where I know where I don't yeah. think people realise how, how mentally tough it is football though like don't do that oh it's like the highs are un- unbelievable but the lows are yeah like, you don't want to be you don't really? want to be low in football yeah what do you think is your lowest point of your lowest career? point I don't know I've not really like I've been lucky I've never really had a bad injury or I've had yeah. one bad injury I was out for six months but people get injuries over and over and over again I'm not I'm not really that injured so it's hard it is hard but you just need to be consistent do you think you know someone I mean? can be yeah. really good but like if they're meant if they haven't got the head for it that they're just not going to make it like if what sorry if they're <laughs> if they're re- if they're really good at football but they're not like mentally strong yeah, there's loads do you think it's like, mostly mentally like, mental game like yeah yeah that plays yeah. a huge part mm, of football, though. Mm. So I, I'd say it's ninety percent mentally. Yeah. Eighty percent mentally. Yeah. yeah. So how many years are you professionally playing football? Professionally, since I'm. I don't know. Wait. When does it count from? Like. Yeah. How do you know yeah. when you're? How do you know when you can call yourself a no, professional? No, I was twi- when I came back to. Bowers, that's when I was professionally. Yeah. So starting from there, it's professional. Yeah. Because when you're 50, that's only like, that's youth football, do you know what I mean? Oh, it's not. Yeah. Like so when I came back from Ireland, to England to Ireland, I was playing professional, professional football. So for mm-hmm. bowls? So I'm playing for four or five years now. And you were with them for what, a year and a bit? A year and a half, yeah. Yeah, I met you when you were at Bowles. Black, and, white, black yeah. and red. Black and red, yeah. Come to the yeah. end of Bowles, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then went to Rovers. Went to Rovers. Yeah. What was that change like? <laughs> what was it like? Because obviously... People seeing that and were really annoyed about it, but you have to think about it from a place of it's your career. You're looking at money. You're looking at the next step. Like people don't see that. Like money, yeah. money wasn't any. It was only the money really didn't change that much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're looking at the, all these they different me things. The exact same money as Rovers did. So oh, I didn't know that. It was just I wanted to win leagues and trophies and. Did you just knew you could go with further the, with Rovers? Yeah, that I wanted to get myself to a different. Yeah, level. it's a stepping stone for me. Yeah, and I'm I'm glad I did. Do you ever yeah. find it weird how like? Much people care about the decisions you make in your life. Like I know, like, I just, that's I just don't get it. That's bad to me. I think football fans are freakier than it's not even. Like, it's everyone. Yeah. It's the world they're these days. Crazy. Though, isn't it? Yeah, well, they yeah. think Why they can do have you such care an, about someone else's yeah. life. Just care about your own. That mm-hmm. they think they have such like um it, that it bothers them so, so much. That's much. what I find so yeah. weird about it. That yeah. it genuinely bothers them so much because the shit the two years have had to put up with in, in the football world, I find it's mental. Crazy. Yeah, does that, not even does, me. I don't really care that much of it do you know like us as a relationship or just her yeah you know I mean? yeah yeah but it doesn't really get to me because if i have thick skin i'm getting on my life yeah people are going to hate it if someone's if someone's chatting about your mom or me like does that would that get to you that, that would get to me yeah. yeah yeah more than if somebody was well like i'd rather someone just give me shit you know what i mean yeah of course i don't care about that i'm gonna get that all threw, my life someone threw something at you a chewing or something like <laughs> i know what it was in the crowd yeah yeah oh, God. it was a chewing or crisp or something <laughs> And what did you do? Launch the back. <laughs> and then he got a ban. I got a ban, one match ban or something, yeah. Oh, yeah. no. But like, this is this thing like, people, not, people yeah, think they can just do and get away with. Yeah, it's like, no, if you it's can do football, that to me. No, it's football, they think, yeah, oh, they just do whatever. Yeah. And you can't get it back, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I shouldn't yeah. be doing it back, but I just seem red. But so. also, why shouldn't you? But you're they, human, you're going to react like, in a human way. No, yeah, you're not, it shouldn't, you shouldn't have done it, like, really, but yeah. I would have done the same. Oh, yeah, in the moment, yeah. you don't, I, you that's what I was so saying, in the people, moment, yeah. we just seem red and just, I was, yeah. Launch we lost, I think we lost as well, so. <laughs> that's that's nice. what, that not the case. Help, yeah. yeah. And now you're in England. Now I'm in, um, I was at Rovers, yeah. Yeah, Probably the best, Year and a half of my life. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Like I really, professionally. I really liked it. Yeah, professionally. I really liked it there. The people around me as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then moved to moved to Lincoln in mm. England. And what? But what led you to the decision? De- the decision <laughs> to leave there. If you were so happy there and you knew you were. I've always. So well. I always want to go. Like I don't want to go backwards or anything. I just want to go a step forward. I don't mm. mean. Yeah. And see where I see where I can get me and I'm there now a year and I think I've I've done well this year. I've I've been injured for like six months, seven months. Yeah, of the year. So, but I just want to keep going and see you where it gets me. You get kicked around the pitch. I don't know. Was just flipping around the place. Aren't I you? remember Charlene telling me that you got stood on or something before. With oh, that's football. Yeah, Is that kicked just around football? every every game. Yeah, yeah. I get oh, fright if I get, yeah, same. I go mad. There I was want one to... tackle where I was uh, running with the ball or something. Some fella craned me out a two foot. Yeah, and they they reshared it on that Twitter that oh that team. <gasps> Like, in a, I don't know what was the move. Like, that they background. were proud of it? Like, yeah, oh, they were like, that's, a, that's some tackle that oh is. Something, something along the lines of that. 
Oh, but like geez. free sharing and all that. Football is funny. <laughs> 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 and you're like in Lincoln now. I'm like a Lincoln, yeah. It's yeah. a really quiet place, but I think it's, it's done me well, you know what I mean? Good, yeah. yeah. Just have nothing, you're ready nothing, really, for... nothing really to do there, but it's like, you're re- it's a really peaceful place. It is. I always find my... I feel like you're not able for peace. Why do I feel like you're... Well, it's, I know, because no. I've been living here and Brighton. Yeah. yeah. Here and Brighton are like the same, do you know what yeah, I mean? Really. The same vibe, but when you go there, you're really like, <clears throat> so... Zen. No, I feel, like I feel quite relaxed. zen when I'm there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. It's very it's calm. Calm me, it calm me right down. Yeah. yeah, it's like the countryside, like real. But then once you get home or something, you want to go. You want to go crazy. Bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you only get though. people are always are shocked when I say if people are like talking about our holidays or something. I'm like, Dan only gets a certain time of year off, yeah. like six weeks in summer, nothing else. You're in. You can't come over Christmas. You had I Christmas, remember di- last you had Christmas year, dinner actually, in a restaurant. Yeah. I remember yeah. last year asking Cheryl. I was like, "So what's like the story with Dan? I was coming home for Christmas, and she was like, "I think it's a match Christmas day." And I was or like, the next what? day, yeah. yeah, the next day. Yeah. I was injured, but I still had to be there. I think. Yeah. But I had a we're out to Sunday dinner, some local p- restaurant. But it was it's Christmas. Why aren't they off? Depends what league we're in. Yeah, winter, winter break and all. But in so is it like the higher you go up in the le- is a league? Can you go higher in a league? Yeah, oh, yeah, there's tables and then there's leagues. Yeah. So the higher you go up, the more holidays you get? Kind of. No. Well, no, no, no. The next league up, though. So, so no. it's like European leagues get winter breaks. Oh. If you're in like so. the German league or something. Mm. So you're on your summer holidays now? Yeah, go back next week. And then you're... But I didn't really get a hol- holidays. I got two or three weeks because you normally get seven, six, seven. Because he was so in I, for I'm, some I'm of I'm still it. injured at the moment, so I was going back and forth. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So then when you're back over next week, you'll be... You're back in yeah. yeah. Do you think next year? <laughs> a lot of people think that you're like stuck up a lot of the time, don't they? In mm. football, why do you think they in think football? That? Yeah, why? I don't, I'm not. You know, I'm not stuck up, but no, I know that. It's but do you think it's because you're confident in what you do? Like people just have that. Yeah, obviously, I'm confident in what I do. You yeah. need, I think you need to be com- quite confident in what mm. you do, or else you're not going. Do you think you're like, the next Ronaldo? Of course, yeah, of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be confident. <laughs> But do you think that's what it is? People are just think that you have that opinion or something like of yourself. People are entitled to their own opinions. You know what I mean, very good. But I know Dan was very level headed, like yeah. all the time. People very, re- people need very to rational. know me to know what I'm like. You know yeah, what I mean? but you don't care if they don't know you. You're like, yeah, no, let them have around. Have my own. What's that saying? The no skin off your nose, back, back, what? Skin off my back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. yeah. Whatever, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. like, if someone doesn't know you and they have an opinion about you, it makes no difference to you. Makes no difference to me. Zero. I love Zero. That. That's very good. People well, are gonna like it. What are you doing, good or bad? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And also, Where? they nearly hate you more if you're doing good, yeah. which you are. Like, Especially no. in this country here. Yeah. About football. People to bring it down. Do you have to be very strict on what you eat? No. Is your diet very strict? No. Or no. I've none those every night. <laughs> Just but I, no. I try to. No, I try, but you eat it. If I'm cooking, I cook uh, chicken and rice. No, but so in Nando's, you get chicken and rice. Is that yeah, but if I'm ordering Nando's, I get chicken and rice. Nando's good for you. Yeah. yeah. But you're, you're not like... But strict, I'm strict. not strict, strict, but... Every game you'd I have to I go out every day and try and... I do like five, six K a day. In training? <clears throat> in training, yeah. They you say... Lot, yeah. After a game, that's when you should eat loads. Like, you can eat Domino's, everything. Do you know you're not allowed to have sex on the day before a game? Why? You are you are allowed, but... You, know you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Why? We, ha- we did before. <laughs> Bad idea. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, did it not work in your favour? Oh, my God. <gasps> what happened? I had the most jelliest legs I've ever had in my life. I couldn't move. <laughs> not any- I couldn't move. How's he doing? <laughs> you doing? <laughs> all over the day. And then sometimes she should be like... Yeah. 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 Jelly rare and perfect. We need to play 90 minutes here. She so doesn't understand. She exactly. doesn't get it. Yeah, yeah. It's when you can't. You're, you're so <laughs> selfish. <laughs> yeah. Was it the day off or the day before? No, that no, we the day before or the day off. Oh, yeah, both. Yeah, yeah. Well, the day of, you don't want to be having sex today. No. Bad idea. Yeah, it's very bad idea. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean. okay, let's go to, on now to how we met. <laughs> how would you describe? Yeah, how, you tell the story. Well, you slid into my DMs and said that. <laughs> oh, you sent a picture of Tommy Fury and said... What did you say? It says, this, this looks like you're You're the image something. of him, yeah. Yeah. Do you know I follow there. Tommy I follow Tommy Fury for a few days to wait until he posts a story of himself so I could send it to Dano. Great. As if I've just known hot gone into this Dano. So this is adorable. <laughs> How did you I, know Dano was single though? Or did you, you I didn't, didn't care? Oh you didn't? No. Fair play, you but didn't like that. I kinda I was like, if I send that, like I kinda know by his response if he's into me or not, like But the three days before that or something I was only saying to me mates. 
Look at this. Look at this uh, board. You know what I mean? Oh, just look. Well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to text her. So. <laughs> Do you think you yeah, never would have texted me? Huh? Do you think you never would have texted me? I would have eventually, but you did it like two two days later. Or she something. made your job easy. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't wait. I didn't hesitate. And now I have that over you for the rest of my life. So you you're one up on her now, Dano. Exactly, That's yeah. it. Yeah. And then we we obviously met up then like three days later or something, wasn't it? You were married like a week later, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, we were. Yeah. We put yeah, like, we had, he came, so Dano came to my house because he was at a party or something. Yeah. It was your off, you were off season. It was when you were in both. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, you were off and you were at a party and then you came to mine. And then we were meant to go cinema that night or something, we didn't. Mm. But then we went on a date in 37. A couple of days later. No, I put a story with you that night on my yeah. Snapchat. And my friends were texting me like, did you mean to put that up? You know, this man three days. I, was like, no, I get no. mixed up with the, the memories, like when... You know when I mean? everything happened. Yeah. 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 Rude. <laughs> Not rude. And then, a bad memory. And then you put me up the day of our first yeah. proper day. Mm-hmm. Oh, you put, me up, you put me up at my house vision. as well. You put each other up the same day on Snapchat. Three days after we met, we knew each other. Like, it's like we just knew. Guys, it was fate. It really yeah. was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So Um... What has our relationship like now? <laughs> <laughs> What's our relationship like now? Yeah. yeah it's gone very well. The di- like the distance, how do you find it? This is like therapy. It's great. It's like, this is what, well, I'd never asked that. I think the distance is actually good. Yeah. In a way, yeah. Because yeah. you just do need you, that break sometimes. Not, do you not a break, agree? but like, yeah. The, the, she has her own stuff. I've got my own stuff. Yeah. You just get to miss each other though. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. And it'll it's, always keep it exciting. You're, you're out, live with each other. Do you know what I mean? For you're on each other's Do you agree that was too much? It was too much, yeah. Yeah. And do you if think... He wasn't complaining. He was getting jelly no. legs every day. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Could actually play football after it when, you, when we broke up. <laughs> and actually, already. When we broke up, like, do you, did you think we were going to work together? Ever? Don't lie. I don't. You did. I did in a way, but like, I, was that, I wasn't thinking like that. I needed to just, you know what I mean, just see what happens. Yeah. Donna, you're a hound to me like no other. <laughs> <laughs> and you aren't hound to me. <laughs> I was telling you. No, at the start I was. Okay, yeah, you were. Yeah, but then and I you just, laid off. Then I just let it go. Do yeah. Know? And do you think just, when you started laying off, then Shirley kind of yeah, realised, yeah, oh yeah. shit. shit so when I you? when I yeah. first came back to you, I was like, hey, like, were you like, what the fuck <laughs> off? Yeah. Were you? You were yeah. like, I. Ha-, he was like, I have to think about this now. I was like, and she was sweating. I think. You could just get straight back into something. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. I knew you were tr- only trying to make me sweat. Like, huh? You weren't actually thinking about. It. You knew you wanted to get back with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you need to think about these things. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't just jump straight back into it. No. So do you have a new anniversary now? No. no it's 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 actually today. Oh, is it today? today? Yeah. Happy, anniversary, Happy anniversary, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so it's actually today. Today, yeah. 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 How many years oh, is it today? Well, I don't, I don't know. Do we count? Do we just count from the time we first got yeah. together? Yeah, it didn't count, yeah. Mine is yeah. about nine months. Yeah. yeah. So we would be, it's nine June. Nine Four. Three and a half. Three and a half years. Three and a half years, holy smokes. Is it? Is it? You are old. It was 2019, what are we now? 2023, four years? Yeah, no, three and a half, because it's not, oh. it'd be four in December. Oh, yeah. Three and a half years, mm-hmm. don't I? Well, well done. It, what's it been like you. for you seeing, like, I've obviously, when you first met me, I had like 20k followers. Was that weird? Is it weird now that I have way more? I don't know if it is, but I just wonder. Were you working when you really? I was working in the salon, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you were, yeah. yeah. You used to go there. Let's go to work, yeah. Not really, no. It's just followers are just followers, aren't they? Mm. I feel like you're not mad no, I mean, like, media and all, are you? I don't I'd, mean, I'd, I'd go off Instagram if I... Would you? Yeah. And it, yeah not really not. into Instagram. I'm into... I'd just scroll through TikTok. Yeah. It'd make no difference. I don't mean followers. No. I mean, like, career like career and all stuff just changing in the years. I kind of knew that you'd possibly get there, do you know what I mean? Did you? I always have belief that you'd, you'd go up and be like somebody. Not somebody, uh-huh. but like, do you know no, what yeah, like, I mean? Like, get that so- big. Yeah. yeah. It's not really, nothing's really changed though, has it? No. At all. Mm-hmm. I'm still the same Just an girl. extra few followers that <laughs> I got you. <laughs> they always said, when you met me, you only had this and now you have that. So I, I got like you. I feel like if you have a boyfriend, your followers will go up, do you know what I mean? Do you think? People love love. People, people like to see But you didn't, stuff, I'm sorry, you're not, you didn't get me 200,000. No, <laughs> About 50. No. Yeah. And how do you find Shirley and Sharon? Because, like, do you, you don't share a lot of, mm. like, your personal life on Instagram, do you? No, you don't. Only close friends, really, don't you? Not not a lot, just football yeah, stuff, Yeah, really. just football stuff and the odd picture of you and Char here yeah, or there. Just the odd picture. But how do you find all the TikToks and all the cheat? Oh, I love all them. The videos. So... I mean, most of them, I'd say, I want 
it's like saying no to her, but she still yeah. does them, so. Yeah, but you don't really have a choice. I don't. You don't really. Sorry. You made me delete one. Sorry, what was Instagram. it? What was the one you made me delete today? Oh, yeah. That what was, was it? it? <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, you I were like, something. I can't believe you put that up. What was it? Uh, I said something in a weird voice and she put it up. Yeah, it was a weird voice. Well, no, no, I forget and what it was. was. <laughs> oh. But she didn't tell me she put it up. So was or you no. said something, for, I can't remember what it was. It must have been that funny. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't bother you, like, being in videos and no. vlogs. And no. Things. It's a career in life. He's a very good photographer now, isn't he? He's great I'm now, like, yeah. You, you, she's trained you what? very well. No, she hasn't trained me at all. I just... <laughs> ah, don't know. Just got I there to, in the end. I had to guide you so much. Don't get me wrong, she's still like... Oh, oh she holds the phone, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She positions the phone for me and I can't move. I can't was, yeah, breathe. Yeah, can't yeah. do anything. So let's just leave it there and I just go over and take yeah. it and then I and can't then, move. No, no, that's wrong. What yeah. do you mean? You position like, the oh. phone. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna start saying that from now on if I do a bad one. Like, sure, you put the phone there. Honestly, yeah. 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 What's our biggest fight we've ever had? Can you remember? Biggest fight? Mm. We don't really like have huge fights. No, they're always there's about nothing really like there's crazy. never it's always about something stupid. Like, mm. start, and do you know what? With us, right? It will start at something tiny. Like, say, I'm even pissed off at you taking a bad picture of me, right? Yeah, it will start at something tiny, and then Dana will get pissed off back in a way that annoys me. Doesn't say sorry, yeah. I don't, we neither of us say sorry because you should just say sorry. That's yeah, but we don't, I don't, she and then she does, and then it just neither of us do. It's no, it's no, wasn't a huge thing. You don't even know why you're fighting, then and yeah. then I just won't yeah. speak. I'll just go downstairs, and then and I'll she'll text me like and try. Three or four hours saying hug. Oh, <laughs> three or four ads, not you. No, not three or four. Just a few, like an hour. Yeah, hug. and then I feel I'll be downstairs watching golf or some hug. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Is it always Charlene that caves? Yeah, because yeah, most of the time you're very, very stubborn. stubborn. I am stubborn, but now I'm in but the right. Because I start the fight. Because she <laughs> starts the fight, so I'm like. Well, sometimes I just say, ah, oh, yeah. Do you think? Yeah. I, would I mean, you say I'm hard work? Not hard work, but like you're a bit of a queen, aren't you? Like. <laughs> Like you, the you are a little bit of a diva. Like. Do you think? Not a bit of a diva. Not a di- You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a bit princess. Yeah, princess vibes. Yeah. Right. That's so. all. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And how do you think you became a good boyfriend? So Charlene's taught you how to be yeah. a good boyfriend. No, I don't think I have. Dan, I was just just like who taught you how to treat someone or like I just treat someone how to be my It's just I want to be treated. You know what I mean? Aww. Good want them. It's like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just normal with you. Yeah. <laughs> what's What's your biggest like thing in a relationship that is important to you? Just like your your um love language is words. Yeah, words, affirmation. Yeah. He loves like cards and like. Wh- yeah, words. yeah. Just do little things like that. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Just to know that you appreciate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just and respect. Do you know what I mean? You're so cute. You I asked my whole heart. I don't ask so much at all, do I? No. Does he not? No. Charlene I feel like you're very simple. I don't ask. Yeah. <laughs> I don't ask for no, the Chanel bag. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't really ask her friends. She just drops little hints in there. Yeah. She sends me stuff and all. Like, what, did like we this. Do, what did we do about the bag? Wasn't there something about bag before? Oh, well, I bought the bag and then Dan and then also da- bought me the same bag. Yeah. So I had to return the one that I got. Yeah. What bag was it? The little Louis pink Vuitton one. Something. Oh, yeah. 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 She'll drop little hints now, like, <clears throat> I like this, Sem- send me a screenshot. Yeah. But I like this means, can you? Get me that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just go for the birthday, because I forget what I like by the time it comes around. Yeah. True, yeah, so at least he has now them you banked know. then. Now you know, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. At least they're banked. Um, what is your, I asked you this morning, what's one thing that people wouldn't know about me that you know? Or not, no, but like. Not real know. deep, like, is it? No, 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 not like that. Just something. Like. If, if, I Char- if like, Charlene had yeah. a drink or food or something, yeah, mm-hmm. she'll always get me to try it. If I hate it, she'll get me to try it. Like she'll go, she'll, she'll speak to me for like twenty minutes. She convinces you to try it. Nonstop. Try this. Try this. Try this. Really? I won't stop. Yeah, I have to. Like oh, even yeah, last night, she was having a gin. I hate gin. And then, then I was like, we have like, gin and something. And then I was like, Dana, if you don't try this, I'll die. About ten, about ten minutes. And then, then and then, and then he wouldn't try it, and, and I was nearly got sick. Die. Why? Because I'd already said it. Yeah, I was like, now I've drinks myself. You have to try it. Oh, Charlie. Nearly got sick everywhere I did. Oh, nice. I got a sup of gin. It was nice. I hate gin. Do you? I hate it. What do you drink? Anything but gin. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever's there but gin. Whatever's there, yeah. You drink it. But I don't like gin. I drink it what? You would drink it if you had to, like. No, I don't like it. Well, if you're really drunk, it wouldn't taste anymore. It's not for me. You get shit on a lot as well, don't you? By pigeons. 
Charlene? Me? Yeah. I thought you meant when you have Jane. I was like, what? Yeah, I do. I've got shit on six times in my life. Any pigeon yeah. in the sky. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Not all pigeons, though. Some of them. Most of them. Yeah. Or that seems very more than like More than the average. Yeah, no, yeah. Lucky, lucky girl. Why do you ever get shit on? <laughs> like, pigeon. Yeah. Lucky. Oh. Lucky girl syndrome. Very <laughs> unlucky this year. Oh, <laughs> Actually. Pretty bad year. What's it like for you seeing someone, being with someone as well as in the public public eye, I suppose, and getting them getting hate? As in you, like? Yeah. It's tough. This is great. It's like therapy. Yeah, I've never asked really? this before. <laughs> it's tough to say, but like, that's just the way the world is going, isn't it? Mm. Like, you're like, do you ever feel like you want to like be involved and give them shit yeah. back or like I'd yeah, love to be but I, yeah. can't, I can't really that's like, very calm that's very I can't re- I'd make her feel better but yeah mm. probably can really you're, only, you're gonna get slagged the next day aren't you <laughs> I think that's why you're me and you work because I'm day, probably. I'd be like wanting to fight back and all but then I was like the, the one that's like you just can't give in to them though can yeah. you <clears throat> yeah and you're gonna get it every single day probably or, or the rest of your life yeah. yeah. Online, especially. Yeah, true. So you don't point. really get it out and, like, out and about. Yeah. The odd yeah. time, but online and stuff, you're going to get it every day. Do you have any advice to girls who are with fellas who are dickheads or who don't treat them nicely? Just leave them. <laughs> <laughs> See, so logical. The all, different relationships, all relationships are different though, aren't they? No, yeah. but there's... People no... like getting, like, hey. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like not no not a relationship. People like <clears throat> you know, not know, being dickheads. Bond. Yeah, yeah. Girls like dickheads and all, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's not, you're gonna marry a dickhead, like. People have married dickheads. No. The dickhead's the fella that is leaving you and all, like you're gonna be able to marry them. People marry dickheads, sure. <laughs> yeah. But not dickheads in the Well our relationships way, like. are different, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah, just leave them. Yeah. <laughs> You have to give me one good quality and one bad quality about Charlene. One good quality, one bad. You can't say her IBS because we all know she's really. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say somewhere, I was like, don't tell them I fart. She is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to say that today. But I did. I did. She said to her earlier, did you? don't tell them. Everything everyone does for. Um, she's very caring. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. very caring. She is. She'll always like, check up me and stuff. Yeah. One bad try. Mm hmm. I think it's the obvious, isn't it? Well. Messy. Messy. Yeah. <laughs> the room is like a bomb. Oh. Whenever I come to Dana's house, it's like. Poof. But the it's room is quite trip. small, so and she has a lot of stuff, so I don't really blame her on that. Yeah. One. Yeah. So I can't really help it. Like, can't really help it, but. Mm. It's not much you can do there. No, what are my it's ick? definitely being messy. What are my icks? I don't really have an ick. Oh. No. Not really, no. Would you ever if you do had an ick, I wouldn't be with you, I don't think. Would you ever do something that you'd be like, sure, like, why are you doing that? Yeah, I def- no, well, I'm very outspoken. Just a real like- weird face with what? your lip, don't you? What does like- she do? That one? Oh, <laughs> that no. was it? <laughs> you do something You do something weird. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like when I'm doing something, she goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, well, honestly. I pull it on purpose. It's not- huh? Tell them I pull it on purpose. It's not just my yeah, face. You don't have a Twitch around. We yeah. do it on purpose. It's not, but but it's not, I'd rather not- you did have a Twitch than you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> It's but weird, I do it, it is. like when I'm when I'm what is it when you do something bad? Is it I don't know when you want me to do something for you or something like that? Yeah, <laughs> like a sad face. Oh, it's the weird, it's the weirdest face. I'm gonna try to <laughs> get it on camera days. Like, I'm gonna try to get it on video or something. Do because the world has even, to see this face. I can't yeah. do it right now. We'll put it over on the whole my drink page. You'll do it later on. Yeah, watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe you out with my face. <laughs> <laughs> Any other aches? No. No. You haven't got an ick really. No. Is that, do you have any Adana? No. I, I don't like bla- the blazers on you now. Do you know? I don't know why I don't, why. I don't like blazers. Did you ever wear blazers? Uh, blazers for, not like, really, no. Or... What did you say? Because I was talking about people weren't going out wearing blazers because I don't know why, but he was like, yeah, your mates love a blazer. I love a blazer. I don't like <laughs> a I go, I, go, I don't like a blazer for some reason, no. Does it give oh, you like oh. office vibes? Like, give me like... Teacher or something? Men wear blazers, don't we? Wear blazers to uh, weddings and all. <laughs> yeah, but they're not the same. I'm not What's saying that women can't wear blazers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just, just don't I'm like. Just not having it. Yeah. It really? just does something to me body and makes me shiver. Oh my god. 
No, not that's an ick. No, property. not for you, not for no. you. But like, if I saw another girl wearing a blazer, I'd be like, oh, really? Never wearing a blazer around Donna. That was be cool. Really? Remember when when uh, we met? You just unfollowed every girl you had on Instagram yeah. that you didn't know. Why did you do that? Because you're just a sweetheart. It's just not worth the hassle either, is it? I wouldn't have told you to. No, like not the ha- like it's just it's just a bit of respect as well. Yeah, respecting. Well, can you teach every man out there to do that? Because that would be what. Brilliant. Yeah, what's sure your? We were talking men about. Do it's just some now. We were talking about men liking girls' pictures last. But week. then again, other girls don't mind if they follow. Yeah, them. yeah. Man, so do you think it depends on the relationship? Depends on the, rela- on the relationship. Would you ever like a girl's I, picture? She never asked me to do it. I just yeah done it. What? Would you ever like a girl's picture? No, I wouldn't. Good. <laughs> I waited you four years, like, don't Yeah. Oh, that's weird, isn't <laughs> it? Go. Like, I'm doing something that long. I'm getting old. Yeah. I like your maid's picture or something. Yeah. Because you have, I like Ellie's picture. Yeah. You know I mean? Remember our first date? Tell them about what happened. What did you do? Have you got red sauce now? Yeah. Did? No, I got it all over the whole table. Yeah, she had red sauce all over her face. What are we eating? This is the first date. No. <laughs> Mind you. Hamburger nuggets. What did you get? I was like, do you regret going on a date with me? <laughs> like, there's a video. She was dip, she was... She had a I bottle was, of water or something. Yeah, it and it was ketchup on it. Bottle cap. She was dipping the chip into, her, into the bottle cap and eating it. What? The first date. The first date, yeah. Well, I put up on the Hamadrug Instagram page. We locked. Pissed. Oh, yeah. pissed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were having were you as well? Were we? She was worse, yeah. Yeah. She I like. I prefer when I'm more drunk she than She always you. gets more drunk than me. No, you get... No. That's the biggest load of pony. No, you... Right? Sorry, you'd get drunk quicker than me. Yeah. But you get more drunk. Yeah, I would get more so drunk. You. Yeah. And he comes in like his head be wobbling. Off. Does it? I, the eyes are tiny. <laughs> I remember one night you just couldn't stop kissing me, and I was so cold sober. And you were like, "Come here." Would <laughs> you stop now? Call, she's calling you over. No, 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 no. I don't but remember you, that anyway. You were just in my hair. I just love you so much. Oh. I don't remember that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Making a show. Well, you do look. You do love me so much. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then any advice for a young footballer or someone who's looking up to it that might be listening who doesn't listen to the podcast usually? A young footballer, just to be happy and wherever you are. Mm. If you're not happy, you can't perform. So wherever you are, if you don't feel happy, just change something to where you're gonna feel happy. That's a really good a bit of advice. Hopefully. You'll start to perform better. Because yeah. I know when I'm happy, I perform better. Yeah. A lot better. <clears throat> yeah, even when you're, like, did you find we broke up, you weren't performing as well in football? Because you're not, like... Yeah, it was, because my head was all over the place. Yeah. Not all over the place, but it's just something that happens in life. Yeah. God, Charlie, why yeah. you do that to him? I know. I'm only messing with <laughs> No, we said. Oh, I got back on track very quickly, but... Yeah. yeah. There's was only a tiny say, window. Just... just to be happy wherever you are. I think, I actually brought tells last time, I don't know if I did, but there was a time when I was, I remember so I was on a plane and I was stalking your team's uh, Instagram page. Oh yeah, did you used to always do that when you weren't together. No, yeah, you, used what? To, you used to look at the matches. Yeah, I used to. Yeah, yeah, no, when you weren't together. I see if you won and all. For that break, oh, you used to right, still right. Google the matches and be looking yeah. at the matches and all. And I look, I remember scrolling down, there was a picture of you. Like on the on Instagram page, and you had the ring on that I gave you, like a little, it's like a little clay ring. Oh, yeah. And he's wearing, bag, he's yeah. wearing in the picture. And my whole, I was like, I, I love this man again. <laughs> <laughs> and now I always love him, but I need to be with this man again. <laughs> <laughs> that was the moment when you, you're so cute. Do you have that ring there, thing? It's, it's a pure yeah. clay. It's a big, it's, there, it's a big chunky yeah, clay. It's like, it's like, pink. No, no, no. It's, no like, it's brown. It's like leopard print or something. Yeah, something like that. And he's I'm wearing it. now. You had just it. In me, it was just in me wash for some reason. Dano, it's just, not one of them rings that you throw bad. on. It's a big, huge circular clay yeah, ring. Yeah, it's huge. It's like a knuckle duster. <laughs> so the hand It just happened job. to be on it. Yeah, it's a Where the fuck did you get it? I don't know. It's, I don't know. It looks, mm. It's definitely hand. Did you get that in a PR? In definitely. the pill. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's, it's fake. Not, it's fake anyway. Dano, it's not diamonds. It's clay. <laughs> of course, it's <laughs> real. Like. Someone handmade that. <laughs> um, anything else you'd like to say on the podcast today? Um, no, I wouldn't. Just keep up the good work. Are you going to come to a live show? Sure. Yeah, you have a to. live show. Hopefully you can one I've day. tried to get to yeah, the football. I, I can't with football. Training. Because if you're doing one in the night, I've trained in the morning. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. These are uh, the sacrifices you have to make. I was going to say, yeah. They like no. sacrifices within your relationships. Yeah. Do you think you'd like to live together soon? With us, maybe? Yeah. But you need... <laughs> but us. But us. <laughs> me? 
<laughs> yeah, when, uh, do you ever see that TikTok? It's like, you and me and me and my yeah, friend yeah, Steve. Yeah. yeah, I'm just that friend. <laughs> no, but like, I'd like to have a house in Dublin because I'd, I'd, re- I'd want to. We're going to start a joint there. account. This yeah. Week. Are you? Yeah. We're on a living Dublin. For a house? How do you do that? <laughs> Someone tell me. Yeah, for a house. But Charlene can just, live her and It's like, great I'd if be you break her. up After a few years Because you've got Shit chunk yeah. of Great chunk of money That you got to take <laughs> yeah, out yeah, yeah. Brilliant No we're getting married now. When are you going like, If we get Paris? a house here Charlene can live in that And then I could live In the other Yeah. Like when I'm in England just So at least you'll have there. a base Then to come home To kind yeah, of Yeah exactly That's what I'd want Yeah Because mm. at the moment I'm moving suitcase To my house How are we going to open A joint yeah. account In England or Ireland Like Does it matter Probably Ireland If it's coming From Dublin Yeah well, there. And when are you proposing to me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when? Uh, not any time. So I did. Much. Yeah, I d- live together first. Yeah. I told him that. Yeah. Not properly live together, but like. <coughs> have see, somewhere. I together. don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We're only back together six months, isn't it, Mm. I would just pretend at that, that stage of your life now. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I, I think I'd like to be living together though before I got in I wouldn't, no, do you know what? No, even together, but just not in my family home. Yeah. Yeah. Once I'm out there, propose away. Yeah. So there you, you need go. To really move Propose out. away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I lost the ring. That she gave me. you the go ahead there. Yeah. Now. Yeah. She's yeah. saying mad stuff when she wants a proposal. I want to see the stuff that she'll just be saying. That sad. she's looking What's for? Looking? Yeah. What's it like? Like on a beach and like, like lights and like a singer and all. And then when you propose to me, all my family and friends come out in all of the bushes. I'm like, what? How do you expect me to organise this? Hello, this is the thing. Do you know what I mean? But that, that <laughs> bush. But it stresses how, me out. It does. Like, if we're on holiday or something, you're gonna you're bound to see one of your family members. You ring me and I'll do it. Okay. Someone don't... else, someone will have yeah. to organise. Yeah. That stresses me have... out. At you're saying how am I sorted? No, he that rings me and do I'll it. do it. Yeah. No, obviously I'd sort. Oh, you will, yeah. But yeah. I wouldn't sort. I guess someone yeah. else to sort. Yeah, me. of course. Yeah. But yeah. I'll help you. Don't worry. I could. Okay. He's gonna ask you one more question. What did we just talk about there? Wedding proposal. A wedding proposal. Yeah. It's very funny. Family yeah. jumping out of the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't we see both, what happened. Oh yeah, like, last night I was asking for it. I always make them tickle my head. Yeah. Why? She wants an Asian head massage. Head spa. I went oh. up to an Asian head spa. I was like, can you do, because I was showing them videos and I was like, can you just do the scrub like She was like, this is like porn. <laughs> Did you show yeah. no, not, not him doing it. The videos. Oh, he went to do it. The what? Asian head spa videos are like porn. Oh my God. That, like, I need like? that. I'm literally drooling watching yeah. that. Like, you can get it in Manchester for £100. Come on. Let's go. Like, honestly, it's like a waterfall in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music playing. Can like, you get it with extensions? Scrubbing your... <laughs> yeah, scrub around. Yeah. I'd get them I out. Love, ring I love my head being tickled, don't I? Yeah, you love I love it all together. Dano is a very warm person. He's always too hot. Are you? So are you. I'm hot on the outside. I'm like cold. Yeah, I'm cold on the inside. Oh, yeah, I'm hot in, on the inside. Yeah. Or her, her Sherpa bed sheets and Sherpa PJs and Sherpa Sherpa. Sherpa. I no. said I, I would me. boil to and death. Then she has this potato sack pillow. That was she'll ne- she won't, It's there since since I met. She won't get rid of it for some reason. I, don't know, I haven't done. Per- it's just a really bad pillow. That's like there's like barely any stuff it's in it. So, it's so bad. Like, and you can buy, just get me a new pillow because I just if I'm out get shopping new pillows. I, yeah but I forget to buy them order them on Amazon can you, you do that you can buy anything on you Amazon you need to try pillows that before you buy them yeah do you like try and pour buy anything's better than the sack of potatoes Is so. oh, well, I only sleep with one pillow I have four in the bed why would I get a new one well, you don't need new pillows <laughs> no I don't need to get a new one keep the pillow yeah. Dano thank you very much for coming on Dano no problem thank been great. you do you, you feel nervous now anymore now no I'm grand Dano also is doesn't like doing things like this at all. Mm-mm. And interviews, he gets very nervous. So well. Did you listen back to the nervous. podcast last week you when she rang you? Them, yeah. Huh? Did you listen back to the podcast last week when she rang you? No. Oh, yeah, that, that was in the podcast. That clip? No. no. What was it? It was ringing you to try to come on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Was that on the podcast? Yeah. Oh, shit. Did you not know did it? You put it in? Yeah. yeah, it's in the podcast. Oh. <laughs> what did I say? You're like, oh, Shara, I don't know. I'm nervous thinking about it. Did I say it. that? Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, and they were going, no, I'm not nervous. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I was showing on a suit, was he? You went to yeah, say something yeah. then and you were like, I'll just tell you later. Yeah, what yeah, were yeah. you telling me later? I can't remember what it was. Don't know what it was. And then tell them about the tattoos, give a little video clip. Oh, yeah. So, tattoos on my, on, name. My, on my hand. What's the rose? For me. I just got a rose. No, it wasn't for you. Okay. I, just got, I was bored on that and just went into the... As you do. Um, and you got 11-11. Two place and just got... Why'd you get it? We always see 11 11. Do you? Yeah, we always catch always, it. Every time we get it, we text each other 11 11. Yeah. And then the, the day we got date together. And just share his name. 
Is that adorable? Thanks, Dano. Love the you. happy couple. No problem. Thanks, Dano. No problem. Bye. See you later. Bye. <laughs> So, Secrets in the Stalls, we do this section to help you with some dilemmas that you have, mm-hmm. kind of conversations you have in the girls' bathroom of nightclub that we tell you things that you need to hear. We did ask Tana to give advice and he said, no. No. <laughs> so, it's just us. But all these dilemmas have been sent into our email address, so it's homeodrink at goloudnow.com and that's where you can send in any dilemmas you have, whether they be big or small, we will try and help you so the first one is hi girls I really need some advice I took my boyfriend on and off for five years and although the ratio wasn't perfect I still thought he would be the man I would marry we broke up at the end of February after a few bad arguments and continued to speak every day the whole time we spoke about getting back together how much we loved and cared about each other and even spoke about wanting to marry each other this past weekend I found out he's actually had a new girlfriend the whole time I'm absolutely devastated when I confronted him about it he showed no remorse and said he was trying to be a good friend by still speaking to me every day I really don't know how I'll ever move on or trust a man again. I guess what I'm asking is, do you girls have any tips on how to move on to someone who you thought was the love of your life? Sorry, move on from someone who's like, was the love of your life. I guess what I'm asking is, do you girls have any tips on how to move on from someone who you thought was the love of your life? Thanks, girls. Love the pod. It really gets me through the week. God. I've had people that I've thought about that about, but like, always looking back, you're like, they was he really ne- that Yeah, cool? they were never. Yeah. You paint them in this like amazing picture. Like, in the moment you think they're the best thing ever. Since sliced bread, like, no. It's only it's only when you come out of it and move on from it and actually be able to look back on it. Yeah. I think the only way you can get over something is to get through it and, or to go through it and just Yeah, sit with your all, feelings. Yeah. yeah. Have your shit days and. Yeah. Um, but always think in the back of your head as well that there's someone out there who is for you and like mm-hmm. I believe that everybody has a match on the planet you think? yeah an exact match like, yeah yeah they just have to find them yeah some, do you think some people don't end up with their right matches then obviously definitely yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I like I don't believe that like there wouldn't be this many people on the planet and not to have somebody who's someone perfect yeah, match. yeah yeah but they could be over in Guatemala <laughs> <laughs> and you never see them bird maybe you need to go to Guatemala <laughs> Um, that is so hard though to for him to have said all that to let you were having a girlfriend but that should also be your sign yeah your sign to be like he can say this all to me while having a girlfriend like is he who you ever thought he was yeah he was a yeah. con artist like if he, yeah. if he can do that while having a girlfriend what more could he do on yeah. you do you know what I mean yeah, he's yeah. showing that he's not capable of of being a good man yeah being someone that you deserve so mm-hmm. you just need to keep reminding yourself of the hurtful things that he's doing other than romanticising how much you, you would have loved to spend your life with him and like yeah yeah and I think everyone who's most breakups you come out of the breakup if you're getting broken up with you're like he was love my life yeah like, that's not rare to feel like that at all so like think about your friends like if they've broken up with someone they probably also thought they were the love of their life. Yeah. That's just what you do. And then the further it gets away from it, the more you're like, well, you're like oh, if that was love of my life, God love my life. Like, yeah. Do you know? Um, but I think just keeping yourself busy, focusing on yourself, mm. getting yourself back out there as well, because he's got himself back out there. Yeah. Go out, distract you're yourself. Yeah, yeah. I think you need a rebound, do your rebound stuff, and yeah, live Mind your life. Yourself up around, your world. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Fuck that. And just remind yourself of what, like, not liking him and being annoyed at him will actually help you get over it as well. Definitely. Like, that's not a nice man. Yeah. You don't need that. The next one is, Hi girls, loving all the advice you were given and was hoping you could help me out. I've been seeing my boyfriend for eight months now, but we have only been officially together since February. I adore the ground this boy walks on. We have a fantastic relationship. However, my dilemma is that I recently told him I love him and he did not respond how I expected. Instead of saying it back, he said I am special to him. I was so taken back and now I don't know how to feel. Should I be worried or should I be thankful he was honest and hope he will eventually feel as strongly as I do for him? Thanks, girls. I just thought this was you. What? I thought this was you. No, I just thought I love him when I'm drunk all the time. Love you. He's going, okay, Eddie. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> um. Oh, God. Maybe you're just that type of person who just falls first, like, you know what I mean? 
Do you know you, can, you love, oh, you're, you'd love someone after eight months of being in a relationship with them? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, she shouldn't feel bad for saying that to him now. Like, Yeah, but he's, why is he not saying it back? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't love her. Maybe. No, he does. Clearly. I don't know. Maybe he's just panicked. Maybe he's never loved someone before. We yeah. don't know the circumstances of it. Yeah, true. Oh my God, why did I say he, maybe he doesn't love her? I don't know where that came from. No. Surely. <laughs> it's hard. Like, you, there's not, we actually don't, never really talk about that. Like, because there's obviously... Yeah, when do you say it? Like, well, if you're me, you say it a weekend <laughs> with a few same. drinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Should you bring? Like, do you bring it up to him? Do you say it to him? Yeah. What do you say? Hi, do you love me? <sighs> when do you, you be like? Do you know when you said oh, I said I love you the other day, and he's like, yeah. It's like, why do you not? Say why do you say that? Yeah. Imagine him just responding to you. You're special to me. I die. Oh, your heart would just break. They're only together so February, what's that? Four months? February, March, April, May, June. Yeah. See, that could be normal. I don't know. I'm just, I feel like I say it earlier on. Maybe that is normal to not say it. I but you think like that if, he, if she's saying it, he'd at least, he'd least say it back. Like. Yeah. But I also feel like there's no, no, no one's timeline on when these things should happen is the right timeline, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone's kind of different. So maybe maybe he's just used to, like, it being a longer wait. Yeah. I don't know. Do you bring it I up? I wonder, has he been weird since or anything? Or, like, should I be thankful? I suppose him being honest is, is a good yeah. thing. At least he didn't lie. And say yeah. And then, do you know what I mean? Maybe he's just somebody who needs more time to be able to express how he actually feels. Mm. If any of these are clips, I'm literally the thing is leaning on the girl who's lying here with it on the mic. <laughs> um, I think though we need to say to him, just bring it up to him. Don't make an argument out. Just make it like, fun. Just say it in a funny way. Where are we? What can we even say? Love you back the other day when I said it to you. Yeah. Or watch a may watch a love movie where someone says love you and it's so it's not like you're. This is how much I think it's like. <laughs> like so you're not like randomly picking out of thin air. Okay. Say you're like watching a movie and someone said love you or something like. Oh, how can we oh, do you remember it? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. it looks like it's yeah, just coming to your mind yeah, at that moment. That like you yeah. haven't been awake all night. Thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> writing into us at all. Like, <laughs> stressing out. Um, but I would be the exact same. Yeah. It will play stress. on your mind. That though. is stress. Yeah, it is stressful. Mm. But don't let him know that. Yeah. Stress. We'll stress in this little safe space here. Yes, this little community. And then to him, like, so why didn't you say love you? Yeah, what happened there, huh? Um... I'm trying to think when I've how long I've taken to say it. Usually, I think I've been different with every mm. person I've been with. Yeah. Do you think after eight months you should love someone, or do you think that like there's a certain time where you're like, okay, you're never going to be know. able to love them? It's so it's so it's so hard, hard to judge because every relationship is so different. Like yeah. I don't, and I don't want to say one thing and then because yeah, everyone's is different. So yeah. someone's could be two weeks in. Yeah. You're saying I love you, someone yeah. could be fucking six months down the line. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so different. Yeah. So. I think, I feel like this one, because we're kind of torn, we should put it on the Instagram page when this episode comes out and see what people say back. So yeah, when do you think? Yeah, right time? But, yeah because mm-hmm. I feel like we two people aren't enough people to have no, experience yeah. from. And also, I forget. We need a collective. Like, we need a collective, yeah, and keep an eye on the Instagram page and we'll have yeah. that up. So you can send your dilemmas to homeydrinkatgolivenow.com. That's where we get them all sent in and go through them and pick some out to answer in the episode. But if you haven't answered yours here, it could be in the bonus episode called mm-hmm. How I Drink Extra Juice. Listen back to those after this episode and they come out this Monday and every Monday. Um, and you can listen to that in the Golive app or wherever you get your podcasts. Sip or skip? We have a drink. A lovely can of Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Ta-da. So we always, we never usually had something to sip on. We're always yeah, we're always sipping. lying. Sorry. Well, today we do. With the can here. So we take one topic based on the week's episode. And because the name of our podcast is called How My Drink, we're holding our drinks. Mm-hmm. Our Coca-Cola Zero, Shu- Zero Sugar. And if we sip, it means we agree. If we skip, it means we disagree. This week, because we spoke to Dano about oh, yeah. being a footballer. Mm-hmm. I think people are always shocked when I say different things about Dano's career and they're like oh I didn't know that was the case oh, so I didn't know so much I feel like, yeah that. so I feel like now we've all learned yep about Super Skip being with a footballer or no 
I guess I have to sip. So do you, oh yeah, you skip, sip if you would. As in, sip if means you would and skip if you wouldn't. I don't know. I'd, yeah. Like knowing, if you, hard, if you didn't, you hadn't met one yet, but you knew that if you're going to walk through that door, there was someone, but like he's, has no time off. Like all the bad parts, like, but you haven't met me. I feel like if you met someone and then you know all that, you wouldn't really care. But like, if you haven't met him, would you just be like, oh, I don't want to meet him? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I might skip. Skip, I don't yeah. Know, yeah. I, think the time, I think the time might be the, the killer for me. The Like you only have I'm a specific off? window with Dano in the summer that he has his holidays. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to, like, that's... That's sort of my time. You're put on a schedule nearly, kind of. Yeah, and our job is so free. Yeah. Yeah. So it's literally two different yeah. ends of it, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm sipping because I love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to this week's episode. We hope you've enjoyed oh, our chat you. with Dano. Uh, it took me a bit of convincing to get him on. Mm-hmm. And a huge thank you to Coca-Cola Zero Sugar for sponsoring this podcast. We are you trans Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. And we're so excited to work with a brand that we absolutely love. Definitely. Make sure to pick up I can. Next time you are out about Coca-Cola Zero Sugar is available nationwide. Also, now you can go back and listen to our bonus episode from Monday, Home and Drink Extra Juice. Make sure to listen back to that now before there's a new bonus episode on Monday. Mm-hmm. And we will chat to you then. Don't forget to like, rate and subscribe to the podcast. And we'll see you on Monday. Love, Love you. you. Bye. Bye. Hold My Drink with Charlene and Ellie. A Go Loud original podcast. Proudly sponsored by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Best Coke ever? Take a taste.